Cam TV. What's happening, people? And once again, welcome back to Cub Cam TV as we jump into another exclusive interview, one of which I am very, very excited to be jumping into today. We're talking to uh, the man himself, someone whose sound we have been supporting heavily here on Cub Cam TV, someone who I'm very excited to speak to, to be honest with you. He's had a fantastic couple of years. Man, like Daddy Poe is in the building. How are you doing, sir? I'm blessed. I'm blessed, man. It's good to be on right now. Um, it's it's just it's just crazy to see how like the dots are connecting and uh, the music is spreading. So I'm happy to be here right now. Amazing stuff, man. Amazing. It's really good to get you on. I know you're super busy today. I know you're running between shoots as we're getting into the conversation. Yeah. Um, I wanted to say first, yeah. how are things your end? It good. looks like it looks like things are super busy. Um, yeah, man. I, to be honest with you, it's it's you know these are the times that you really you kind of hoped for, you know. So it's I call it good problems. And I feel like it's gear, it's it's building up to something even bigger, and I don't know what. But I'm excited for the journey, and I'm I'm really excited to have come this far. Amazing, yeah. man. I mean, it looks like it. Obviously, it's been uh, an interesting few weeks for yourself. You've had some big releases drop. I want to quickly rewind to 2021 uh, because uh, it was a crazy year for yeah. you. Um, obviously, we yeah. saw some fantastic bits happen. Obviously, starting off with a couple of big remixes at the start, a couple of huge collaborations, um, and then, of course, the Providence EP. Do you want to talk me through quickly how last year came together? Because it looked like um, absolute madness. Uh, it was crazy. It was crazy in the true sense of what crazy is. I feel like... Um, the year started off with a very, uh, it was a bittersweet year, you know, because coming out of COVID and losing somebody very important to our family, my, my dad's sister, my auntie, you know, and I, you know, grew, grew up knowing knowing her, she's such a big part of the family. So to lose her was tough. And then from there, going from that two weeks later, winning my first ever Heady, which is a big like award, award in Nigeria. And to win that for best collaboration, um, for a song that I released the previous year with Simi, you know, that was that was a big moment for me. It's my first one. In fact, I didn't expect to win that, you know. And then from there, um, we had a song that we wanted to drop that I decided my the team and I pivoted when I when I when I recorded Feeling with Buju with Benson, I knew that was a song I needed to drop because it captured the fact that I like the way I'm feeling now, despite some of the things that are happening that are not so great. You know, it's acknowledging that feeling and it's crazy because the whole country, the whole continent and even beyond started to tap into that idea. So feeling really, it was such a pivotal moment for me. Uh, and then also the BET nomination, I got placed, I mean, Jay-Z picked my song to be on, on his playlist. You know, I mean, it's so many things just kept falling into place. And then we now get all the way to Providence at, towards the end of the year. Uh, an EP that I've been working on, I started the first song, which is the last song. I recorded it in 2019. And providence means timely preparation for future eventuality. Things, things that are not yet that have not yet happened, you're prepared for them. And I really feel like that's the nature of my career. So it was a perfect way for me to wrap up the year. You know, so I'm really happy that people connected with the first song I dropped off Providence, which is running. So I mean, it, it, 2021 was so far has been an iconic year for me. Definitely, I hope things man. get even better. Definitely. I mean, it's been so fun to kind of yeah. watch and obviously keep up to date with all the releases individually. Um, I mean, there's a tune yeah. on there's a tune on that Providence EP, which I absolutely adore, which is Love Essential, obviously working with Amore. Like, um, how, how was the response to this one individually? Because I know when people drop EPs, they have their own personal favorites and they have the tunes they expect to kind of go in certain directions. How was the response <laughs> to this one? Um, to the... Well... You mean to 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 uh, love essential yeah, to love specifically essential, yeah. or the EP? To love essential, love essential was one of those tracks that it has such a niche audience. I've noticed, like it's it's a because the kind of what I wanted to show people on Providence was how how diverse, how tasteful, how how dynamic the rap artistry is my rap artistry and how it can fit in so many different places and also create different kinds of music you know as amare is somebody that i really just adore i adore her voice you know and just to work with her was amazing but it has a niche audience people who just love that immersive sound transporting them to another place kind of sound it's not a club record it's not a party record it's a personal record you know, so I, 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 I love like I love coming in contact with people that love love essential and law of attraction. I feel like those are just like very unique records that I've made, you know. So I, I rate them very highly. Let me yeah, just put it like that. I rate yeah, you, bro. Yeah. 
it's, it's, <laughs> I, I, this, this is the thing. I love it when and it's something I've actually always enjoyed about when you're putting projects together and you're kind of putting releases out there. I love the fact there is always a slight abstract element in there. There's something you're not expecting. Yes. Um, and I, I think that's such a refreshing thing to always be able to hear. And then obviously moving forward off the back of the uh, the Providence CP, we then kick off the year um, in in some serious style. Obviously the uh, overdose tune is one of my favorite releases of this year. I love the kind of rally nature, everything that goes Ooh. on. Talk to me about how this. Um, when, when was yeah. this decided that this was going to happen? Because obviously there's so many people involved, the logistics. Um, like, talk to me about this. <laughs> yeah, so um, Overdose is a record celebrating Maven at 10. Maven, the record label I'm signed to is 10 years now. Uh, I joined three years ago, you know. So, I mean, the big part of that history is is um, was with other artists, you know, and Don Jazzy and his team and what they've done and what they've built. And, you know, uh, so Overdose is celebrating 10 years. So the single dropped around that time. And it has all the artists that are currently on Maven, you know, uh, except I think Rema is not on there. And, you know, he does what they really the try to do you was... See, you see his license plate in the yeah, video. He, yeah, he has a little... <laughs> has a chai. Rema's got a cheeky pop-up in the video. And obviously, because <laughs> the plan is to drop an actual album with all the artists. So Rema is going to be on some other music and Johnny Drill as well. So I just feel like... That song, shout out to, first and foremost, shout out to our whole ANR team. Because the ANR team was working tirelessly while we were jet setting all over the world, performing and doing our things. They were like putting together the little pieces to, uh, for, that would make, ultimately make this album and this song. Jazzy produced the song. And I love working with Don Jazzy's production. His production is just so warm. It's inviting. It's, it's got layers to it, you know. And um, he also takes in feedback. That's another thing that a legendary producer is listening to you. You know, I really appreciate that. And so they just called, they, they sent me a couple of tracks. They sent me two tracks. They're like, all right, look, we want you on one of these tracks. Actually, maybe even both. Ended up being one. But if I had to pick one, which one do I like? I picked Overdose because once I heard that beat, I was like, this is for me, you know. And also over here, people don't see, I mean, they see it, but I, I felt like this is another opportunity to put it in their faces, that blend between rap and Afro beats. You know what I mean? And just how well it goes. My type of rap, my type, you know, and to, to blend it together. And I thought it was a great opportunity. So I'm so proud of what the record is doing, has done, will continue to do. Every artist on the record brought a different, unique vibe, which is just, and it's evidence of what Maven is about. So man I, I really love that record i'm glad you like it as well man yeah, it's going places man. it's definitely it's one of my favorites of the year and then obviously moving forward after that we then get into big energy which is another huge hey. kind of summer sing-along um one of the main yeah. reasons i really wanted to talk to you today first of all uh congratulations on this one it sounds fantastic um how are you finding Thank the response you. so far uh the response has been great like it's trending over here it's a trending sound over here in lagos and it's picking up in nigeria in general you know like people are using it on their, their reels their tiktoks it's, it's actually it's nuts and i like it i love the fact that because i put out songs that represent how i feel especially particularly my first my lead singles of the year feeling represented how i felt at the time it's 2021 big energy represents how i feel i, I got off tour i was on tour with fireboy early on in the year you know, I came, you know, I saw the response to the music that I put out real time in a country that was not mine. So I, of course I feel big energy, you know, so I wanted to let everybody get a taste of that feeling. So that's why big energy is out. Before I dropped big energy as part of my rollout, I dropped a rap, a real rap heavy version of it just for people to get that taste of, I do this. I also do this because I feel like as, as an artist, I have the leeway to put out as many sides of myself as possible so i continue to do that you know so big energy i'm really proud of that record shout out to killer tunes who produced it johnny drill who mixed and mastered it my entire team my art direction team my a and r team they believed in the record as soon as they heard it and i can't wait to make it that summer sound definitely man it, it definitely immediately has that uh, that feeling of being the sound of the summer and again as you said it definitely ties into that theme you were mentioning yeah. of um starting off the year solo wise with a record that is represents how you're feeling yeah. and you can you can kind of feel that within the record that big yeah. huge and energetic kind of sound yeah. um mm -hmm. Well, after this, obviously, I've got one more question to kind of dive into, um, which is what's on the way? Like, what's happening for the rest of the year? Like, how, how is the rest of the year showing uh -huh. up for you? Uh -huh. um, the rest of the year is, is more music. I have a lot more singles that I want to put out. I was, I was talking with you an album. I'm not quite ready. There's a couple of sounds, more sounds that I need to attach to it. And also, like, just being out, out around the world 
has kind of made me put a pause to it because there's more things I need to experience that I want to put into the project, you know? So, but in terms of music, there's a lot of music I have planned. I really want to show people because, because I am, uh, you know, my music is often like rap based, but melodic with stories and layers and details. I feel like there's so many sounds it can attach to. And I really want to expand the mind of my own audience base, as well as the Nigerian audience base and beyond about how you can like, this fusion can work. There's different sounds, like I, Overdose is such a different sound to, to Big Energy. You know what I mean? So I want to give them, continue to give people more of that taste, those to, to broaden their palettes. So when I drop the album, they are not, no one is confused. Everybody understands that this is, this is what he's about. So that's what this, this year, you know what, bro? This year is about education. My singles are about educating people about what I'm about. So, yeah, there's more music coming. A lot amazing, more music. Amazing, man. Amazing, man. I'm looking forward to hearing yeah. it. I've got to say, uh, just before you shoot off, where are you jetting off to today then? Because I know you're a, you're a busy guy. I'm jumping on and off planes. I'm good. <laughs> yes, I'm jumping on a plane. I'm going to Berlin. I'm oh, going to be in Berlin. Nice. Uh, yeah, I've got a festival to perform at in Berlin on Saturday. So, anybody who's out there, pull up. You know, I, I can't wait to see. I love to connect to the, the people that are supporting my music outside of my country because it's... it's, it's special Berlin there we go I'm excited man I'm excited I've got to say dude it's been great it's been great it's been great getting you on, on the, onto the channel and actually sit down and have a conversation with you thank you for taking the time out of what I know is a very yes, busy schedule for sure. um, and best of luck with yeah. everything sir thank you so much I just want to say shout out to you shout out to your listeners shout out to my fans because like look this seeing your music cross borders is, is an amazing feeling and I'm only more motivated to do more. So I appreciate your rule. Thank you very much. There we go. Keep it locked and don't go anywhere, people. Signing out with Ladipo. This is Cupcam TV. Blah. Yo, this is Skepsis and you're listening to Kovu. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel right now. Cupcam TV. Stay locked.